Welcome back. We have COVID on I-10, a police officer remembered, and night hunting. And I'm not talking about spotlight and deer. I'm talking about a legal kind. My name's Ike Morgan, and we're down in Alabama. Every county in Alabama is currently experiencing a heightened outbreak of COVID-19, but many of the biggest outbreaks are in the southern part of the state, reports AL.com's Ramsey Archibald. Baldwin County, on the Gulf Coast, tops the state, averaging almost 113 new cases per 100,000 people per day. Neighboring Mobile County is second. Now, that's not just an Alabama thing on the Gulf Coast, by the way. If you look at a map of current COVID hotspots, you'll see there are particularly large outbreaks all along the I-10 corridor going from Lafayette, Louisiana, the hometown of former pitcher Ron Guidry, all the way to Jacksonville, Florida, the hometown of former PE teacher Leonard Skinner. Mobile County Health Officer Dr. Bernard Eichold wasn't surprised by the way the outbreaks follow along the interstate. Quote, We know that along transportation routes, that infectious diseases follow the same corridors. As people are moving around and are more mobile, there's an increased chance they'll come into close contact with another person, end quote. Baldwin County Sheriff Hall Smack is among those along the Alabama coast who have contracted COVID-19. Now, he's also among the breakthrough cases we've been hearing about, where he took the vaccine but was infected anyway. He's credited the vaccine with keeping his symptoms from being a lot worse, and he encourages people to get that shot. Data we've reported on has shown so far that the vaccines reduce your chances of contracting COVID-19, including the Delta variant, and that even if you do catch it, it's much less likely to be serious or deadly. Now, although Alabama has famously trailed the rest of the nation in vaccine rate, demand for the shots are going up in some places as hospitals begin to again fill up with patients. The city of Birmingham is opening the COVID-19 vaccination site at Legion Field today because of what City Council President William Parker calls unprecedented demand. Officials, fellow officers, friends, and family remembered Selma, Alabama police officer Marquise Moorer during an all-day public viewing, reports AL.com's Mike Kaysen. State Attorney General Steve Marshall was there. Selma city officials were there, of course, and friends of Moore's from Wilcox Senior High, where they attended together just a handful of years ago. Moore was just 25 years old when he was shot to death on July 27th during a meal break. He had gone home to Selma Square Apartments during his shift around 3.30 or 4 in the morning when he was killed. His significant other, Shakaria Barley, was seriously injured during the shooting. Authorities have not said what they think the motive was, but they have arrested an 18-year-old in Tuscaloosa and charged him with capital murder. A graveside service is being held today at Pine View Memory Gardens in Valley Grand. The Alabama State Legislature passed a law during this year's session that cleared the way for a nighttime hunting license for feral pigs and coyotes. AL.com's Mike Kaysen reports that through last week, 511 of those licenses have been purchased by hunters looking to reduce the wild pig and coyote populations. Now, you can already kill those animals during the daytime, and Alabama has been offering a depredation permit for landowners that allowed them to hunt them at night. But Wildlife and Fisheries Director Chuck Sykes said the process of that particular permit was cumbersome for the landowners as well as the conservation staff. He said this new license simplifies the process. Now, both animals are considered pests by many, especially the pigs, which are non-native to America. Coyotes have been common in Alabama only in the past 50 years. Trapping and euthanizing the pigs is more effective than putting on your night scope and hunting, but officials say that every little bit helps. Thank you all for listening. We'll be back here again tomorrow. Until then... Stop by and see us anytime you can on the World Wide Web at AL.com.